When GK was sharing his screen, I could see that that had not been entered. So we do need to go ahead and unlock that and enter it. Um, I also noticed a few environmental parameters that we'll need to fix before we do some survey measurements, but let's go ahead and do that. So GK, if you can please enter the multiplier that you have on the yellow sheet. So you're gonna unlock and then enter the serial number and the multiplier in that box. Might be blue, might be gray. It depends on your computer screen. Share our guns. Would it be possible to share your screen in the screen, screen share? Out. I'll stop sharing momentarily. We just want to make sure this is set properly before we go on. So whoever has a VNC, I think it was GK. I think you had it earlier. If you could share your screen so you could see your instrument. The light attack to the bottom of your screen. Stay good now. Dogu anta yemukarnos. I'm just seeing a black screen. Um, is it possible to share your full screen, Daegu? Okay, I can see GK screen. Um, and yes, so if you press the unlock button there, we'll, yep, then we'll be able to enter in the multiplier. And the multiplier is on the yellow piece of paper, or it might be white, but it was with the uh, sensor in that bag that the sensor and the bracket arrived in. There was also a, should also have been a calibration uh, sheet. If not, just tell us the number that's on the sensor and I will look that up for you very quickly and tell you what the number should be. Sulai al ya calibration sheet mean Sulai al Kalhone de Gmusun Warakat Kalaganya Chut, I think. Aganya Hon. Is that it? Does it say calibration? Calibration ran in a Lois. Hey, Tokuru quantum sensor, light sensor, Jetta Lai Yatasero. So tabat kakale. Kal hone dagmo rasu sensor lai kotarale. Dagu itayhan kudru. It will say Q dash something some. Yona kotar. Q dash one oh something. Yeah. Q. Q one one. Audio with am feedback salalo. Zout and so in Nagarona. What chat type of Taragut? Kudrun. Q and the Menamen and the Metoshim Namen Mihono, Kudru, the chat like type are good. A website to like Kudrun and Melsen Nagratron.
Uh, yeah, Elizabeth just sent it. Is it frozen? Yeah, yeah, Gabra Kidan computer not a meat tie in Zalais SN Milo serial number Lamaletno SN Milo Lai AQ Matos Randishi Matos Alasa Sos Milon. Where's update Yara Gadelum? Any meat tie in still bad on the Honano. So serial number Mirola Q Matwasra and she Matosalasa Sust multiplier Milola negative uh meto arbasos net hamsas at dist milon but that's good boot Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think screen and I think freezer goal must selling update. Yeah, I got it. My Kagaba Kotron Kaskabachut, maybe you were Melika to set ink or drug up to all. Okay, maybe Gabra Kidan Kachalk and Dagana share with Arago Stop Parker. Um, but I think they've got the number and it's just the screen is not updating, so we can continue. Okay, so once you have uh, that information added, you should see a number uh, populating here based on what that center is currently reading. Um, and as I said earlier, it's probably pretty low number uh, because you're in a conference room there. But when you take it outside, you're going to notice that number um, should go up. Uh, so full sunlight is about 2000. Um, so that's about the highest you're going to get. Um, the, uh, in the middle of the summer under direct sunlight, um, uh, t around 2000 is the maximum uh, par value that we measure. Um, and then all the way to um, fractions of a micromole or zero um, at night. Uh, so the sensor is very sensitive um, and, uh, and you'll get a sense of that um, as you use it. <clears throat> The next tab down is your fluorometer, which is the light source you have installed. <clears throat> and so the fluorometer, you can control the light level um, uh, with radio buttons as well. Uh, it can either be off and you should see the light uh, turn off on your chamber. And if you move it to set point, um, you should see it turn back on. Similar to the other screens, um, you can turn it on and off uh, with one area, and there's a separate box for the actual value you want to set the light to. So you can click in the uh, set point and change that value. So you can see right now my light source is set to 2000, which is about the maximum uh, par that you'll ever measure. Um, if you want to set it for something uh, else, you can uh, go into that box and enter a different value. And you should see the, um, the light level. If you look at the outside of your chamber, you can usually see some light leaking out the gaskets, um, but you'll probably 
sensor should be reading close to what your set point is. Um, if you are on target for your light level, um, you'll get a green indicator next to your light uh, page. And if you look up at the top on the environment tab, notice um, my indicator here. So right now I am trying to control six different environmental parameters. And of those six parameters, I am on target for all of those. If one of these parameters was not on target um, or not close to target, you would see the color of that indicator change as well as the number. So it's a real easy way at a snapshot to see, are you close to reaching your set point or not? Um, so back to the light uh, screen, um, with the fluorometer, you'll notice we have red, blue, and far red uh, light available. So you can actually set a different spectrum uh, for your light in your chamber. Um, so if you wanted to use all blue light, um, you could use a different um, uh, color specification in this color spec box uh, to achieve that. Um, and you'll notice there's, there's a certain way that these can be put in. If you press the little question mark, um, it will bring up a handy tool for you to see um, how to set this. So a small r is your red uh, percentage that you would like. Uh, a big B is actually the limit, um, meaning I don't want any more than 40 micromoles per meter squared in second of blue light in my mix. And um, so that's kind of what that, um, that programming code stands for. Um, you can either use a programming code or you can just use these boxes. So if, for instance, you wanted 100% blue, um, you could go where it says 90 and you could clear that. And you could go down to where it says blue and you could set it for 100. And I'm going to uncheck my limit here. And I'll say keep. And when I do that, you'll notice my red goes to zero and I'm only using blue light. And if you look at your chamber visually, um, you may see some blue light leaking out through your gaskets. Okay. Now there is a certain maximum you can achieve with one color um, by itself, um, but generally you could do up to 50% of full sunlight um, with either red or blue. And obviously if you're using both together, um, you can get up to full sunlight. Um, so you can use that question mark uh, to get that color picker. Um, another way to get it, which I use probably more often, is I just click on my, the, the diagram of my light source. If you just tap on that diagram, it will also bring up the color picker for you. I'm going to go back to what I had before. I'll just clear that. I'm going to check my blue limit and type in 40. And I'm going to set my red percentage as 90%. The reason we default to this is that this is very similar to sunlight. Say keep. And notice my diagram changes, indicating now I have a lot more red. And if you look visually at your chamber, you should notice um, that it looks more purple. Uh, coming from the, the light source. Okay. Um, if you have another uh, chamber, for instance, if you have the three by three chamber, um, this also has red and blue LEDs. Um, our larger six by six light source has uh, red, green, blue, and white LEDs. 
So there's